Virginia City is arguably the most haunted ghost town in all of the country, and we will be going to the most haunted location. The haunting of the Washoe Club is legendary. 26 people have been attacked or scratched. Something's over here. Okay, you guys, this is not good. Oh, 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 you got that, you got that. I got that. that, I got that. What is up? Welcome back to Project Fear. So Tanner, Alex, and the guys are back in Las Vegas, and me and Chelsea are in Minnesota. Just a couple days ago, we found out that Chelsea has a couple days off, and we decided to plan a last minute trip. We've been researching haunted, scary locations for many years now, and there's one location that we've all wanted to go to for a very long time. We are going to Virginia City, Nevada, specifically the Washoe Club. Virginia City is arguably the most haunted ghost town in all of the country, and we will be going to the most haunted location in Virginia City. The Washoe Club has a very dark and brutal past, and it's one of those locations that we've all talked about. We've all heard countless stories from friends and other people who have been there. And unlike other trips, this is a location that we've all agreed to go to, so there's not one person in control. This is gonna be a little different, you guys, because this isn't like a, the start of a big epic road trip. We're all gonna go to Virginia city and that's it it's like a mini trip it's gonna be fun but yeah here we go me and chelsea we're gonna pack our stuff head to the airport and uh meet with the guys here we go all right hi i'm alex and this is project fear let's get going oh uh, what kind of intro <laughs> is this i don't know man i'm trying something new uh so today it's just myself Tanner. What up? And Connor behind the camera. It's on us today, guys. Get ready for this one. You're gonna hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got about an eight hour drive ahead of us today. I grabbed it by the non-wheel side, so it's just crazy. I'm a mess today, Connor. <laughs> oh, we don't have the key. I quit. But uh, yeah, we're on our way to Virginia City. All the way to Virginia. City. Oh. It's in Nevada still. Oh, that's a quicker drive. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a good day. Yep. 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 Cool. Oh, I'm driving in these. <laughs> <laughs> no, officer, I'm not drunk. <laughs> Why does the guy have drunk goggles in his car? I don't know. We're back on the road right now. Oh my God. God. So right now we are in the middle of the desert. Yep. We're on the way to pick Dakota and Chelsea up in Reno right now. We've been driving for about two, three hours yep. already. Yep. We still have a long ways to go. So we're gonna be in the car for a while, just me and Tanner. <laughs> we just got to the airport. Let's go to Washoe. Oh, let's do this Let's thing. go to Virginia City. <laughs> Still got a long ways to go. It's not getting any more exciting out here. Or is it? Welcome to Tonopah, baby. That's sick. That's actually kind of tight. Sorry, can't stop though. Uh, Gotta keep going. Oh, and there's the Clown Motel. Oh. Wow, world famous. That's sick. That's actually wild. Okay, so update, we are still driving. We still got three and a half hours until we get to Reno. We'll see you guys in a bit when we get Dakota and Chelsea. Deuces. Okay, right. wow, we finally made it to Reno. <sighs> that was a long, long, long drive. Holy okay. crap. Dakota and Chelsea are grabbing their bags right now. They just landed, they just texted us. So we are at the airport to pick them up right now. I can't wait to see them. We made it. We made it. Long day of traveling, but we made it and we're going to Virginia City. Oh. How was the flight? It was a flight. How was the drive? It was definitely a drive. Wow. <laughs> 
Straight from the airport to the Virginia city, the most haunted city in the world. The yeah. whole city is haunted. I don't even know. This is so weird. Like normally one of us is in control. This is the first time where we've all agreed on a place. Like let's go here. Spontaneous. You can't do that on television, folks. No, you cannot. Because you have to have a network approve it and then they have to get it to a board. They have to approve it. Then they have to go to a production company. The production company has to approve it. Then you have to find out the budget. Then you have to see if that budget works. And then you have to ask us, does that work? And then, and then they say no. It's safe to say this is a location we all wanted to go to. Like Whatever. this is almost like a mutual decision. Like we all wanted to go here. Yes. If something bad happens, it's like all of our faults. Yeah. Outside. It was just kind of nice. You can only blame yourself yeah, at this really. point. All right. Well, let's go get some food, guys. Food on three. Come on. All right. There we go. One, two, three. Food. food! And then ghosts. Cut. So, nothing. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. That hunger. Now we're headed to Virginia City. a great place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're excited. We got that. Yeah. yeah. Watch up club. Yeah, 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 we're gonna spend the morning. You recording? Oh, hey, I'm gonna get the salad and the veggies. You cut? Yeah, cut it. Oh my god. I'm gonna get <laughs> so much crap. I <laughs> literally don't care about that. 14 layer burger. Oh, I've never cared. Right, welcome, mate. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Raining. This came out of nowhere. Dude, How close are we? Like literally like a minute. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> dude, what the hell? This came out of dude. nowhere. We were just driving from the airport. No rain. Starts no. to trickle as we climb the mountain. It's foggy now. What? This is getting creepy. Oh this my is gosh, dude, it's barely, getting more dense. I can barely see past. Oh my god, dude! Oh dude, oh what the god. hell? It, I actually I actually can't see. I actually can't see. Go Seriously, slow, go, go slow. slow. Oh, yeah. Look, look no. at that. This is crazy. We can't even see. That's how bright the fog is. Wow. Okay, I've never seen fog like this. We couldn't have asked for a spookier setting to do this, guys. And we're pulling in. We're in Virginia City, I think. We're in in Virginia City. Right I now. think this has got to be it. Oh, this is it right here. That's the wash hole. Oh, oh yeah. my god, dude! It came out of the oh, fog out of nowhere. Okay. Oh, we're here. Are you ready for this? Let's do this, dude. Let's read this packet and get this night started. This is a ghost town. Let's read. Let's do it. All right, Whoa. guys. This will be interesting. <laughs> yeah, it will be. We collectively have done the research together, so we're really reading this for the viewers so that you guys can get up to speed on this location. We're gonna read this, and then we're gonna go straight in and start our night. <gasps> Should back. we get into it? You wanna open it up and start it off? Let's do it. The Washoe Club. As part of the largest historic district in the state of Nevada, the Washoe Club is home to Virginia City's oldest saloon and social club, and is believed to be one of the most haunted locations in the West. This towering brick building is situated high in the Sierra Mountains, where many of the businesses that line the historic stretch have gone unchanged since they began operating more than 150 years ago. The Washoe Club, a true monument to the Wild West era of the United States, gained its fame during the mid-19th century Comstock Silver Boom, and has a fascinating history that likely contributes to the highly charged atmosphere people experience today. In 1859, when the Comstock load was discovered, a rush of eager prospectors flooded to the area. This silver rush instantly transformed the small mining community into a bustling town of 25,000 people. And now it's like 900. Like that's such a decline in population. That's honestly so many people for this small like main street. Like imagine 25,000 people stacking up in this one area. That's wild. The Washoe Club was originally built as a multi-purpose establishment that provided retail space, medical offices, lodging for the miners, as well as a saloon. 
1875, tragedy struck as a great fire broke out, destroying roughly 85% of the city. The Washoe Club escaped the inferno's fate, but the town's wealthiest elites were not so fortunate. Their millionaire's club was lost in the fire. So they hatched a plan to acquire the Washoe Club as a replacement, which they did. The saloon portion of the building stayed, and other exquisite billiard, poker, wine rooms, and private bars were added. While the upper floors were renovated into lavish exclusive quarters, it was even said the building was home to the finest library east of San Francisco. Membership was expensive, limited, and in high demand. And the roster, which included notable members like Thomas Edison, Ulysses S. Grant, Edwin Booth, and other millionaires of international reputation, read like a who's who of Comstock and Pacific Coast history. By the time the Washoe Club was back to its renewed glory, the production of the miners had fallen drastically. A disastrous underground fire in 1881 wreaked further havoc on the production of mines and on the ability of the Washoe club members to continue to indulge in luxury. I feel like this town like couldn't catch a break. It's like they were on the way up and then something tragic happened and then something good was happening and then another fire happened. It's like taking two steps forward and like 10 steps back. So true. By 1897, the Washoe Club disbanded, and the local paper reported on September 9th, 1897, that the Washoe Club is no more. This closing marked the end of an era. The building sat dormant until sometime in the early 1930s, and eventually became a hotel and boarding house up until 1984. Today, the city has a meager population of just over 900 people, yet continues to be considered one of the most haunted cities in all of America. The entire city has miles of tunnels running under it, and numerous deaths over the years could be attributed to unexpected cave-ins, explosions, fires, and deadly poisonous gases. The temperature inside the mines would reach up to around 140 degrees. Many say that these unfortunate deaths occurred daily, and that dozens of these deceased miners remained buried in the tunnels where they succumbed to their disastrous fates. In addition to the mining tragedy, brutal winters left the grounds frozen and a Washoe Club room was used as the holding area for the dead bodies until grave diggers could dig proper graves in the spring. I just like can't imagine like the 140 degree working conditions when they say that every day people were dying. Like I believe that. Oh, like hundreds of We have people in, in California dying at when it's 110 going yep. on walks. Yep. And like the whole dead bodies thing being stored here, put it in perspective, this was just one of the many crypts just like it around the entire town. Like there was designated spots in multiple areas that was meant to store dead bodies in the winter so it wasn't just the Washoe Club wow. that happened everywhere so that's how many people were dying regularly here which just goes to prove that this is one of the most haunted cities in all of America haunted for reasons that are different than we're used to we're so used to going to asylums prisons sanatoriums this is gonna be a different experience for us and this town has so much like different emotions attached to it like if there's anything residual here it could be like during the exciting era it could be during the tragic era like we just don't know totally the haunting of the washoe club is legendary people tend to have unexplainable malfunctions with their electronics and batteries throughout the entire property and in some instances when the devices are working angry spirits come through the digital recorders especially the voice of a dark entity that seems to now call the club home old time music can be heard softly playing throughout all three floors of the building and creaking footsteps steps on the floorboards is a common occurrence for many people when they are inside the building completely alone. Apparitions appear out of nowhere and lurk around door frames. One such sight is a blonde lady in blue who can often be seen at the top of the spiral staircase. Even the ghost of a scared little girl can be seen on occasion. Met what was that? That came from the Washoe Club. Yeah. It sounded like someone was knocking on like the second floor. Like something just went. Met. What was that? Met. What was that? There's so 
so creepy. I don't even know what it is. Oh my gosh. I don't like this. Many guests report the vivid feeling that someone is about to shove them down the stairs and say that they can hear the voices and sense the spirits of the trapped miners. I don't like that. There's some aggressive spirits in this place. Just that feeling alone that you're gonna get shoved down the stairs, that's not a good feeling. And we know to trust our guts in these places, so let's all stay away from the stairs maybe a yeah. little bit, as much as we can. We're dealing with evil, dark entities. We're dealing with innocent spirits, people who died unexpectedly underground like we've seen enough people come here and experience it to know like there's something going on the second floor what was once the location of the doctor's office and retail shops was later converted into the millionaires club's main social area this floor is said to be the most active zone of the entire property people will hear footsteps up and down the hallways and walking behind permanently locked doors. They will see shadow figures and apparitions, some of which have been caught on camera and in photographs. The most haunted rooms on this floor are the Shadow Man Room. This room was given its nickname because of the high volume of reports from guests and investigators who have either seen or captured a shadow figure on camera or in their photographs. Some have even captured an entire group of figures standing against the back wall. That's terrifying. That's so creepy. The ballroom. Before the Millionaires Club took over the building, this was once the doctor's office. It is said that a young girl was run over in the street just outside the building by a horse-drawn carriage and that she succumbed to her injuries in that very room. People today claim to see her apparition and even hear her giggling from time to time. I got the chills from that one. Yeah. That's like a little kid giggling. That's Ugh. so unsettling. This is also the spot where there have been many accounts of footsteps, shadow figures, knocking, and the scent of perfume drifting in from nowhere. So more shadow figures in another part. I, I feel like that's just everywhere in this place. Like yeah. chances are you're gonna see a shadow figure somewhere in this building. The Poker Room slash Millionaire's Club. This is the room where the rich elites would spend most of their nights gambling and drinking the night away. Audio interference is prevalent in this room, yet devices such as REM pods and the ovulus are extremely active in this area. And on top of that, the aroma of fresh cigar smoke is not uncommon in this place as well. See, that stuff kind of trips me out because it's like, you shouldn't be smelling cigar smoke in a place that's been abandoned. Yeah. And I I mean, you can tell this place is very abandoned. Perfume and cigar smoke should not be in there. No. The third floor. This floor was originally used to house the miners and was later converted into a hotel and boarding rooms. There are three especially active areas. Room 12, nicknamed the Evil Spirits Room. An unknown dark entity is said to reside in this part of the building. Reportedly, 26 people have been attacked or scratched in this room. On a routine tour of the building, one employee claimed to have witnessed a deep deep scratch appear in front of his eyes and on the side of a female tourist after she walked into the room and started complaining about a burning sensation. That same tour guide was also scratched unbeknownst to him. He only noticed the mark later that evening when he returned home. So we have like all the senses like tapped yeah. into aside from taste. Yeah. Uh, physical, I, smelling, singing. I don't like physical stuff like that. Something that can like scratch you, something on a thin air scratches you and it makes a mark on your body. See, and that number right there, 26, that concerns me. 26 yeah. people have been scratched. And yeah. that's like, could have gone off. I mean, that means that it could happen to anyone at any time. Obviously, we don't want to jump to conclusions, but there are people who call it the evil man's room, but there have been other YouTubers who have come here and gotten very, very demonic type activity. That's their claims. There's other people who say it's just something evil, aggressive, but we do have to have our, our guard up. And it sounds like this specific situation it wasn't like a, a result of provoking this was a routine exploration mm. and routine tour 
Scotty's room. Scotty was a former bartender from 1970 to 1982 who lived at the Washoe Club with his son. In 1979, his son and a friend went to play outside on the grounds and fell into a 1,200 foot ventilation mine shaft, killing them both. In 1982, Scotty couldn't handle the grief any longer. So after his shift, he closed the bar, walked upstairs, and made the decision to take his own life in this room. Some say his spirit never left. People claim to have communicated with his ghosts through REM pods, the ovulus, and other devices. That is a really sad way to end this packet. Yeah, just so much to unpack here. I don't even know where we're gonna start tonight. I was excited to read the packet, but now that it's over, I don't feel so hot. Yeah, this is when it gets real. Now we have to go spend the night in there. Let's freaking do it. Let's do it. Let's get packed up. You guys ready? Yes. Hey, let's go. All right. Let's get All these right. cams and let's go in. Let's, let's get go. these cameras, baby. Let's Watch do this. Club, baby. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! What's up? We wanted to take a quick break from this video to tell you all about Factor. We absolutely love Factor. Factor meals eliminate the hassle of prepping, cooking, or cleaning up. All you gotta do is simply heat it up and save us the good stuff. Factor takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success. Skip the grocery stores, the prep work, and the cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. With over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and so much more. Fuel up fast with Factor's restaurant quality meals that are ready to heat and then eat whenever you are. Yeah, so skip the overpriced takeout trap. Factor is far cheaper and much more delicious. Get chef-crafted, restaurant-quality meals delivered right to your door. They're ready to heat and eat in just two minutes, which means more time for you. For you! 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 You have more time now! This is how much time you'll have left over! A lot of time left! Yeah! Factor has so many nutritious options for keeping my fridge well stocked, like smoothies and juices, easy for snacks. So head to factor75.com and use code FEAR50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month's order. That's code FEAR50 at factor75.com to get 50% off of your first order and 20% off of your next month's order. Yay, Factor! Whoa. Well, that's it. That's it. Congrats. That's, congrats on the ad. Good job, Factor Meals. Should We're going to we spin out of this one. Spin out of this one. We're going to cut back to the overnight. All right. This is it. We just finished the packet read and we're about to walk into the Washo. Dakota, you go first. Let's do it. Let's okay. do it. Washo. Washo. Let's go. <laughs> well, that's a crazy staircase. So, oh, it smells so bad. Oh boy. Oh yeah, this definitely has a scent to it. feel about this. This is really bizarre. Wait, shh. Wait a minute. People get pushed down the stairs. I don't want to have yeah. Smart man, smart man. So we're on the second floor. That's a creepy picture behind you. Oh God. Why are clowns always so weird? They're meant to be something for kids to have fun with and that is one of the more creepier paintings I've ever seen. Look at that, that's from Jimmy City back in the day. That is so cool. How is everyone feeling first steps in, first couple rooms? To be honest, I'm more like right now in awe of actually being in here. So right, initial thought, I'm just like, man, this is sick. What? What was that? Hello? 
Did you hear that? It sounded like like movement. Like someone was like, like. It's like it felt like I thought someone was walking down this hallway. Where does that go? Wait, this is what the. What the? Was that? I heard that. Right. Wait. What? Be quiet. One sec. This is the ballroom. I've always wanted to be in this room. This was the ballroom, but this was also, this was the former doctor's office. And that's why people hear the little girl that got hit by a horse-drawn carriage and actually passed away in this room. This is a really, really creepy room. You guys wanna try something in here? Yeah. What do you got? We're gonna turn on the PS device while we're here in the ballroom. And uh, this is a device that has a word database inside of it. It said that spirits can manipulate these frequencies. If there's anyone in here and you want to talk to us, you can come and use this device here and talk to us, pick words. We were hearing like creaking footsteps behind us. So we really want to talk. We'd like to talk to you. We wanted to come here for a very long time. We're excited to be here. If there is somebody here, can you tell us kind of who you are and what you're doing here? Sir. Sir. Is it sir? Sir. Sir. Are we talking to a man? You can come in here. All we want to do is talk tonight, so can you come closer? I mean, all four of us are new members here. Can you show us around? Can you show us where the Millionaire's Club is? Bet. Bet. Okay, we literally just said like like we were talking about how we're new members and it says bet and there's a gambling room. Alex just said can you show us the way to the Millionaires Club and it's a bet. The gambling room. Yes. <laughs> can you show us where the gambling room is, where the Millionaires Club is? Do you enjoy being here? Do you enjoy spending time here? What did you do here? Problem. Problem? What's the problem? Problem. Is there something wrong? Happened. Happened. Problem happened. Shot. Shot? Shot. What? 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 Dude, okay, that's creepy. Problem happened, then just had shot. We have to think, like, gambling? This is the Wild West. Problems happen, gambling. People cheat, people do this. That's what I was thinking as well. What if it's the spirit we're talking to, this, this, this sir? What if that's, what if he's telling us, like, that's what happened to him? Yeah. Some, there was a problem when he was betting, gambling. 
and he got shot. And it was like back to back. It was like almost like a sentence. We were asking, like we want to know who you are. We want to know more. So that that's pretty direct. Can you can you confirm for us that you maybe were someone who got shot here? Are you talking about yourself? Did this happen to you? Where should we go right now? Should we stay in here? Million! Million? 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 No way! No way! No way! No way, actually! Go right now? Million! Oh, Where are we? what are the chances that it would say that? Bro. Okay, can you can you make a noise in the direction of the club? Like point us in the direction. We are lost. We don't know where to go. This is it, dude. Wait, we're this close? Okay, this is it. Look at this photo. This is exactly what I would have pictured it looking like. Yeah, wow. I mean, it was talking about betting. I've kind of, I've got a weird idea we could try. What? All right, there's coins. We flip a coin, bet with the spirit. All right, so we're gonna flip this coin right now. If this lands on heads, we're gonna put a dollar on the table for you. And if this lands on tails, you have to show yourself in front of us. Oh my gosh, you must have lost. No oh, way does it land me. on the side. Well. That's unreal. I don't know what that means. That, 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 that That's just ridiculous. Not Give a this coin. good bet. I think that's bad luck. Something is using the word bet, millionaire. We're definitely supposed to be in here. I'm gonna pull out this chair in case if the spirit wants to come sit with us, hang out with us. We'd love to learn more about you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Can you confirm that you were shot in here? Do you know why we're here? What we're doing right now? It's like the second we get in here, they're like, why did they bring us in here for no reason? Like, I feel like we definitely were talking to a guy, talked about this problem that happened. Steven! Steven. It said Steven? It gave us a name. Steven. Can you give us any more information about yourself? How old are you? Steven, were you a member here? Or did you work here? I just heard something. Me too. Wait. Hello? Oh! Look! It says look! No way! Yo, what? Go look. Dude. Crashing noise and then look. Uh, hello? Had 
been? been? Had been. Where we had been? In the ballroom? Oh. Had, it said had and then been. Back to back, had been. Should we go back to the ballroom? I don't know. That's the only thing that kind of makes sense with those responses. Like, why is it bringing us back here? Maybe it doesn't think we're worthy enough to go in the Millionaire's Club and we are not allowed to gamble with them. Like, kicked us back out to the ballroom where more common people would be. We're back. We're back to where we just had been. Why are we back here? Are we in the right space or were you trying to get us to go somewhere else? I just don't like it at all in here. Table. 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 Poker table. Return. 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 Table. Table return. return. No way. Okay, we're just getting like told to walk all directions. Let's go back. I guess we go back. Do we have anything else? Like, do we have like REM pod or anything? Uh, should I put the laser grid on I this? I think yeah, so. 100 percent Let's get the laser grid. What the frick is happening? This is actually kind of crazy. It's just having us go back and forth. Like me personally, I feel like it's like multiple people talking to us, showing us around into different rooms. Like it's not just one thing. Can I just like try something? So I've been standing here for quite a while with no responses, but I'm gonna stand right here where the stain is. Like something about like right here, we've been getting so many responses. Yeah, let's see. Place. Place. Is that the we place? Found the place. Hey, there's something about this spot. This is so bizarre to me. Like near death. Yes. Near death. Near death. I'm gonna walk over here. I'm just gonna show you. I'm not getting anything. So, do you want us to go back to the table? Dude. God. That? Did you hear that? I heard it. Hello? Were you looking down the hallway at all? I was, but I didn't see it. What did that sound like to you? Just like a big. Yeah. Dude. 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 He's right here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Matt, Yo, that... laser just turned off. Oh, no way. way. Shut off. I started to see like some of the dots go and then all of a sudden everything shut off. That's a claim here. It's just dead. That's a claim here that like stuff drains. stuff drains, like equipment malfunction. Like that's, it was on for like five minutes. Literally. Not even. Brand new battery. It's straight up dead. That is so strange. That doesn't make any sense. That is a lot of energy to drain in a short period of time. You want to drain something else too? Can you drain one of our cameras, one of our flashlights? That was so strange. Of course, right when we leave the room, so I got the music box. Because the laser grid died, we're gonna set the music box in this room in front of this camera. And this music box, it picks up motion. Anything that walks in front of this device will be picked up. It'll play a creepy tune. Should we get out of here? Yeah. Let's do it. We uh, follow instructions and go back to the poker room maybe? Let's go back to the, the Millionaire's Club. We're back. We're being led everywhere tonight. I just feel weird. I feel like we're in a tug of war. Like whoever it is we're communicating with is is bringing us in one direction, and then whether it's the same spirit or not that's bringing us back in here. Like I don't really know what's going on.
Well, we were supposed to be in here. You wanted us to come back. We're back at the table right now. Why, why are we supposed to be back here? Weird how we're getting nothing. Like it was shouting responses earlier and it's just been silent. Do you want to play some cards? Show us how you shuffle, man. I don't know how to shuffle, so. Give us your you best shot. You don't know shot. how to shuffle? You want me to shuffle? Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you want to play? Deal out four cards. Whoever's the lowest card has to walk upstairs really quick and back down. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just a quick walk up and back down. So the lowest card has to walk all the way upstairs, which we have not been there yet been by there. themselves. Let's pick a card. All right, this one's calling my name. This one feels good. All right. Uh, I'm going with this one. <laughs> all right, Chelsea. This has never worked for me. All right. Oh, I'll go first. <laughs> Three. Uh, uh, see you guys later. This could be good. See you better, guys later. You better hope someone has a two now. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, let's see. <sighs> Four. <laughs> Four. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, thank God. Okay. No two. No two. No two. King. King. Let's go. Oh, All right, yeah. shells. All right. Is it a two? Jack. Oh, sauna. Oh, all right. Have fun up there. Where do I go? Just go just, explore uh, the third floor. Explorer? I thought I just had to go up there and be like, oh. Do a little light exploration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, don't gamble. Don't gamble. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Coming up to the third floor. Ooh. This room is super creepy. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what this, this room is, but uh, the second I stepped into it, something definitely feels off. Something is definitely different from all the other rooms. The only way I know how to explain this is it doesn't feel like I'm supposed to be up here. It feels like I'm invading someone's personal space. I don't like this. Oh no, 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 no. What? What are you? You are creepy. You, you are a creepy, creepy doll. In holy shit! Yo! Hello? Yo! Are you okay? Dude. What? I just heard footsteps and creaking on the floor the second I just saw a super creepy doll. I don't like this. Shit. You, you are a creepy, creepy doll. In holy shit! In holy sh is someone back there? Can you hear my voice? Something's over here. Something, something is over here. Oh, f you, you're not real. What? Oh, I, I'm coming back. What happened? They have dolls here and mannequins. They have dolls? And mannequins. Oh gosh. All of a sudden I started hearing footsteps down the hallway. Go down the hallway, walk by. It's a mannequin just sitting right there, like full bodied. There's my ears are ringing. Really? Yes. Both of my ears are ringing. What is happening? I don't know, I just, I'm like super hot. I'm taking the sweatshirt off. So you guys wanna play round two? No. no. 
Dude, also, there's a room up there. Like, the second I walk into it, it doesn't feel like you're supposed to be in there. It's like right up on the top of the stairs. All right, well then, let's keep the camera rolling in the ballroom with the music box. Let's quickly just go check out the shadow room on this floor, just so we can check off everything on this floor, and then we'll make our way up to that third floor. All right, let's do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Damn it. See, I told you. Why is that in there? See? She's a wheeze. Dude, that's scary. There's another one upstairs that scared the shit out of me. Oh. Why is that there? All right, well this isn't the shadow room. Oh yeah, this is definitely it. And the claim here is that people see like constant shadow activity, shadow man activity in here. And they see it with their eyes. It's not like they have to have a camera recording or anything. Yeah. Do not. Do not. Do not what? With the shadow man room, a lot of the shadows are seen on this back wall. A dead end, really. Okay. What used to go on up here? All right, I'm going to take a bunch of photographs. I know there's been a lot of people who have seen shadows in here. Can you show yourself in front of us if you're here? Really, we come in here and we take a bunch of photographs and nothing. We're kind of anticipating something to reveal itself, but it's just been silent. So far, at least. Wait, that's the room I was telling you about when I walked up there. It just something, something feels weird about that one. No way. And right now we're literally hearing shoes on the ground walking right above us. But I'm telling you, something weird is up there. Something weird. I think we should go up to the third floor. Let's work our way up to the top. All right, let's do it. This is it? Yeah. Right here is like when I was like, ooh, this does not feel like I should be in here. And you had no clue that this was Scotty's room. No idea. Okay, that's creepy. Scotty was a bartender here, and his son was one of the two who unfortunately fell through a mine shaft 1,200 feet. He got really depressed, came up here, and took his own life. Mm. Scotty, are you up here right now with us? We heard you, we just heard you walking up here. We were told that you like to use devices that you can pick words. So you can pick words with this device and talk to us. I wanna give you our deepest condolences on a loss of a son that must be, must have been one of the hardest things of all time to deal with. And we are truly sorry that that happened. I'm just gonna set up another wide camera. Ask? Sounds like he's giving, since he said ask, he's giving us permission to ask about stuff. Child. 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 Ask about the child. Ask. The child. Can you tell us about your child? Can 
Can you tell us how your son passed away? What happened to him? He said, Wait, descent. Descent. descent? descent. That was what I asked. I asked him for a word to describe what happened to your son. Descent. I feel like we're talking to Scotty. What should we ask about your child? 12. 12? 12? Room 12. Like room 12? Maybe. But room 12 is... Room Opposite. Opposite. Opposite? It's on the room other 12. side. Room 12? I was just going to oh. say that. Room 12 is literally the same room as this on the opposite side. And it said stay. stay. Like stay here. Like don't actually... Oh my god. Don't 12. go to room 12. Stay here. That's where people get scratched. Scotty, were you trying to warn us about the evil room here? Can you give us more details, like what's in that room? The end. The end? The end. You don't want to talk anymore? So we were just, it said the end and then it just didn't talk. Hmm. I'm gonna put this ball over here, Scotty. All right, Scotty, I just put a ball on this stove top. Can you push the ball off of that stove if we should not go to room 12? Why don't you want us to go to room 12? Can you tell us on here why you don't want us to go there? Like of all places too, like room 12 is the one that like freaks me out the most because everyone that goes in there feels uneasy. They say it's evil in there. Well, Scotty, we're, we're gonna go over there, but if you wanna keep an eye on us, you're more than welcome to do that. All right, I'm just gonna leave this camera recording on the ball while we move. Let's go. It's a bunch of taxidermied animals. What? Ooh, it got colder over here. Oh my god! What? Yep. It's a mannequin! Yep! Oh my god. That's what I was talking about. Oh, you, you knew that was coming up? Yeah! Ooh, yeah. dude, I almost <laughs> my pants right there. Why is that Ooh, there? Dude. It's like the worst spot for it. That's like intentional just to scare people right there. Yeah, it worked. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. This isn't room 12, is it? No. Uh, no. I think room 12 has paint, like red paint. That That's red. That's it. This is red. Oh, okay. This is the evil room. This is where over 26 people have been scratched. Oh my god, what the f Oh! Hi, Mr. Bird. What the hell are you doing? Or Mrs. Bird. Oh my gosh, dude, that scared me so bad. Freaking birds. He's staring at me like that. It's possessed. All right, we should try a new piece of equipment since we've been using that. Let's try the spirit box. I brought that with me and see if we can get this entity to talk to us. This shadow looks like freaking Freddy Krueger. What is that? I don't know. Get a shot of it. I am. What is it? It literally it looks like Freddy Krueger. But it's just a shadow. What? What even is this room? I don't know. It's really creepy to see those claws. That's what I'm saying. And you have the hat and everything. It looks like Freddy Krueger. Um. I swear to God, if that moves. Oh! Wait, what just happened? Uh, you got that. You got I got that. that. I got that. What just happened? I mean, there was a shat. There was a light on somewhere in here. 
I don't even know. It's been in, on the whole time. Yeah, it's been on the whole entire time. Right here where my flashlight is was like an outline that looked like Freddy Krueger. As I'm saying, like what? it would be really scary if that shadow moved. The whole entire light killed in this room, eliminating the shadow. Oh my god! That is terrible. Uh, I have not been that scared in a long time. And you have the hat and everything. It looks like Freddy Krueger. Um, I swear to God, if that moves. <gasps> oh! Just in case anyone is watching this and thinking these are like the plugs to turn on the light, these are two female sides, so it wasn't me sitting here bumping anything. What even is this, dude? Okay, what the hell would even give a shadow way up here? Well, what light was on? Like, and what, True. how did it turn off? I don't even think that's part of the Washoe Club. No. Like this building that's touching it, I think those are apartment buildings. Like the shadow could have been explainable, but yeah. the, the fact that the light turned off as we we're saying, like, wouldn't it be creepy if the shadow moved? It's just a timing thing. The timing thing, it doesn't make any sense. It was like it was listening to us and then all of a sudden the lights turned off. What is going on right now? What were we gonna do before all that happened? Spirit box. Oh my good. Good. I mean, this is getting intense. Let's let's turn on the spirit box, ask some questions and Try not to get scared out. Can you hear our voices? Why do you hurt people? Are you? Are you? Are you? People call you evil. Some people even call you a demon. What are you? What do you consider yourself? What was that? Oh, that was all like a laugh. I did laugh. Yeah, I heard a laugh. Are you human? Are we talking to a, a, a human? Oh my, oh god. my god. Do you know any of our names? Why do you hurt people? Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. There's something in the room. I heard something, something in the room. Dude, I'm like feeling really, really, really weird right now. Like, it feels like something's standing right here. Who are you? What do you think about one of us staying up here for the rest of the night and sleeping here? You? You! You! No! Yeah! Oh. It said you! I just need some silence for a second. Jeez. Dude, there's a lot in that already. I feel like we should see the crypt before we separate and sleep alone, but I also don't want to like leave this room yet. What do you think about like two people staying here, continuing to follow up, and then two of us go down to the first floor into that crypt? Yeah, I think two of you guys should stay up here and I'll go with someone else down to the crypt. I'll stay up here. Tanner, you wanna stay with me? I'll stay up here. Okay. All right. I mean, I'm glad to get out of here. Maybe take the spirit box and do like a little bit of a Estes method. What? That was not part of the deal. You wanted to go down there so yeah, bad. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, good luck guys. Good luck. See ya. All right, so here we are. 
the crypt this was used as virginia city's overflow morgue This is creepy, dude. Let me turn this off. Oh, oh, this is pitch black, Chelsea. It's so freaky. We are in a morgue with no lights on. Some of the claims in here are like people get their hair tugged, they get pulled on, their clothing pushed. At one point, how many bodies were in here? I think it was like up to 74 bodies. 74 bodies in this small little spot that must have been piled so high is there anyone in here right now what's that hmm? noise hello you're like rumbling yeah There's someone in here? Well, should we try doing the Estes method with the spirit box? All right, we are sweeping through and putting these on. All right. You can use this device to talk with us and communicate with us. Sleep. Sleep. He is, Alex is wearing a face mask, a sleep mask. Do you have a name? Why are you here with us right now? Why are you communicating? John. John? I just asked, do you have a name? If you are John, why are you here? Help? Do you need help with something? Are you okay? Can't see. Can't see. Help can't see. Do you feel like you're trapped? Was there anything not good about this morgue? Whoa. What? That was a really weird deep voice. I think it said like, don't. Don't. I just don't know if we should be in here or not. Honestly, I don't know if we should be asking questions in here. It doesn't feel right. All right, me and Tanner, we're still in room 12 on the third floor. We're gonna turn back on the PS device and allow whatever it is here to keep communicating with us and giving us words. Do you have a message for us? Can you use this device to, to pick a word to describe yourself? Wanted. 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 Like you're a wanted person. You're yeah. a criminal. Were you a criminal? What were you wanted for? Pick a word to describe yourself. Wanted. wanted. Murder. Murder! Murder! What are you wanted for? Murder. It took a while to get that response, but it was—it finally gave us murder. Can you tell us who you murdered? Why, why did you murder someone? Club. Club? No way! Club! That, okay, hold on. The Millionaire's Club yes, right below yeah, us. Yep. Yeah. So murdered someone in the club. You murdered someone here. Is that what you're saying? Is that you murdered someone here? Hey, remember downstairs we were talking in the gambling room where someone was shot? Yeah. Yeah, we got, because they did a bet? Someone was shot in the gambling room, yeah. The 
This probably isn't like an evil demon, maybe. At least who we're talking to right now. They're admitting to murdering someone down in the club. I think it's just an evil person. Ready. What? Ready. Ready? Ready for what? Brush. Brush. Brush? Are you about to scratch one of us? Above. Above. Who are you? Us. Us? Us? Multiple people? It's getting really cold over here, Chelsea. Are you next to Alex right now? Are you next to this person holding the device? Are you around us right now? You. You. you not me. Great. Me. Can you tell me what this entire building is used for? Something just said, come here, back, come here, back. Come here, back. Where do you want us to go? I don't know where here is. Is it somewhere else in the building? Please. Please. Something is almost luring us out of the more telling us to go somewhere else. Where would you take us if we were to leave? What are the- Third. 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 Floor. Third floor. Should we be going to the third floor? Are you trying to warn us of something? Should we be checking on our Charge. friends? Charge. Out. Charge out. I really hope Dakota and Tanner are okay right now. Because this isn't sounding like a positive thing. I'm uncomfortable. I feel like we should check in on them at the very least. I don't know how to properly wake up someone from Estes. So I'm just going to do what I know. Hey. Whoa! Oh, sorry. Oh my god. I'm sorry. What? So I really do feel like something wanted us to leave here, not because it didn't want us to be here, but pulling us like to go check on potentially the guys upstairs. Like that was what I got out of it. Let's go check on them. I think we should. We're gonna get out of here in a little bit. Do you have any last words for us? Hate. Hate. Are you okay? Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys. What? What? Come upstairs. Okay. Okay, well, that wraps that up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so long story short, we were doing Estes method, it wasn't even that long, and all of the answers we were starting to get had to do with like the third floor and about you guys. And, and obviously I don't know what questions Chelsea is asking. Yeah. But it, I, it clearly said third floor. Dude. So we like had to check on you guys. Okay, well we were doing the PS device. I said, pick a word to describe yourself. And it said wanted. And it said wanted for what? And then it said murder. What? Yes, and then, then we were like, who did you murder? And then it said club. Ah, oh, this sucks because it is time for Don't us to it. separate and sleep alone for the next four and a half hours. That's great. I can't wait for this part. Well, that is the end of this video. 
like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to see the next video where we attempt to sleep alone. Yeah, grab some beer gear. Check out the new stuff. Yeah, check out the new merch, son. Look at that. So sick. Make sure you check out beergear.shop. We got your t-shirts, we got your hoodies, we got it all. Comment below where you found the hidden rubber duck. There is a hidden rubber duck somewhere in this video. And uh, might as well remind you of the Fear Club. Make sure you go sign up for the Fear Club if you want some deleted scene, bonus content, podcasts, giveaways, merch that's only available on the club. So much stuff. Even more than he just mentioned too, so. Okay, love you, bye.